Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Nadia's Kitchen and Vlogs in the USA. Today we are here at J Dot, also known as Janet Jamshik, here in Artesia, California. So we decided to show you guys what's inside because we haven't done a vlog, uh, like a daisy um, clothing vlog. Because there's not much, there's not many daisy, like in Pioneer there is. So let's get started. We're going to be showing you guys um, what's inside. And here I am. I don't know what I'm showing you guys, honestly. So here we are just entering and I have my mom with me. Um, I have to voice over due to copyright reasons, but just know she was with me and she was just um, helping me out. We did get a couple of stuff which we forgot to show you guys. But yeah, we just ended up getting like a kurti and my mom got two shots of me. So let's start. We're already showing you guys what they have. So my mom, you know, she's showing you guys the shalwar kameez, whatever they have. So this is the women's section. And it was kind of hard to um, record because I was trying to show you guys the shalwar kameez and record at the same time. So excuse my little recording. I'm not usually like this. So here I am just showing you guys the women's apparel. And they honestly have very beautiful clothing. Here is one that my mom thought was pretty, but I thought it was really plain in my opinion. I didn't really like it as much. And we're just showing you guys the price tag. And then, uh, we're just going, this is honestly, for this whole part, we're going to be showing you guys the women's apparel. So there's the shalar kameez. And then at the bottom, you guys see like those little, um, the little packages. Those are unstitched materials. So my mom ended up liking this one. So we got this one because I forgot to show you guys at the end of the vlog. I also picked up a black kurti from Janae Jamshik, which I thought was really pretty. I'm not sure if I showed you guys in the video or not, but we will see. So here I am. That's where I picked it up. So this is like the little package and it has unstitched clothing in it. So this is made in Pakistan. So you have to get it stitched. So like I was saying, these are the unstitched materials where they come from Pakistan and you have to find um, people who can stitch them for you. So you buy them separately and then you get them stitched. And honestly, I believe it's like a whole hassle. So I wouldn't personally recommend that, but that's all up to you guys. You guys do whatever you guys wish. Honestly, these are really pretty. But we honestly, Eid was right around the corner, so we didn't have any time to get anything stitched. Plus, we had already ordered a bunch of clothes from Pakistan that were stitched to our um, our liking. So here I am just showing you guys a bunch of um, shalwar kameez that I thought were cute. And I was trying to pick out like which ones I should wear for Eid or which ones I should get. They also have trousers. They also have... Uh, jutis, I don't know what they call I There's mojuria, but some people also call them something else, which I don't remember. So I'm going to have to ask my mother. This is what I was saying. <laughs> so they have shoes, they have trousers, and here's another one that my mom liked. She really liked the sleeves in this one as far as I remember. But we didn't end up getting this one because she has something similar to that at the house. So she ended up getting the green one, which you guys saw previously, and it looks very nice on her, mashallah. And this one is also very plain. It looks nice from afar, but when you actually like take it in your hand and see it, it looks super plain. And it doesn't really have like any um, elegancy. <laughs> and then these are the kurtis. I thought the red one was cute. Like I said, they look nice from afar, but when you look at them, they don't have really like they don't have much design to it. So it's kind of hard to like pick and choose. This one was also okay-ish in my opinion I didn't really like it as much and then here where am I where am I taking you guys so this is all of the women's section and then they also have more unstitched clothes as per your liking you do whatever you want you can get them unstitched so I like that there is an option also in um, California that you can get them unstitched um, like Jimmy Jim ship like how in Pakistan they have um, Sana Safina and all of that, you can get them stitched. We don't really have that option over here. And my mom thought this was cute. But nope. Not cute at all. Did not like it. Nope, mama. My mom keeps picking things out. I'm like, nope. Don't like it, mom. And so this is more of the... This, these are just kurti. So this is a, a abaya. That's an abaya. And so they have one section where they just have kurtis and then uh, just one piece and then they have a three piece, they have a two piece that just comes with trouser and the shirt or three piece that comes with dupatta. This one was one piece that I just showed you guys. This was 
This was the one my mom also picked out. So this was the second one that my mom really liked. And I thought it was really cute. And I believe that was the last of her size. Actually, no, they didn't have her size. So we ended up just getting this one because they didn't have any more. So the thing is, we're probably going to have to get a stitch from our local tailor or something like that. We'll find somebody here. Because it's a little bit loose. But it, it looks very nice. It's very flattering. So we ended up getting this one, the green one. And then we also got a black girdie for me. So I don't know if I show it in here. If I do, I will definitely point it out. And this was also very pretty, but kind of plain in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know much about suits. But I also know I love very detailed, heavy... Oh, so you guys see that black one? This one is the one that I got. I looked kind of ugly in the first. So I didn't really look past it. But I saw it on the mannequin and it looked very nice on the mannequin. So I was like, Mom, we have to get this. So I ended up getting that. Here I am just showing you guys more unstitched clothes. And my mom is probably saying something here right now, but I don't, I cannot, do not remember, guys. Something about the stitching and how we don't have time. Just like I said, because it was, Eve was right around the corner, so we didn't really, you know, no time. Plus, we already got the ready-made suits that were very pretty as well. So here, my mom, I thought that was very, that was very pretty. I like the design and everything. It looked very elegant. So they have a bunch of um, unstitched suits where you guys could pick from. So there's a variety. They have kurtis, trousers, they have shoes, they have unstitched clothes, stitched clothes, three piece, two piece, one piece. So everybody was here um, a couple of days before Eid. And then, where am I taking you guys again? So here I am just showing you guys the trousers. So that those are the trousers. And then these are the clothes for little girls, like little, little girls. So from, and then these are clothes for little kids. So they have a teenager's um, side, they have a woman's side, and then they have a little kid's side. Then here are the trousers. My mom thought this was pretty. I thought it was kind of plain. Didn't really have much detail into it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. How did you guys think of like the suits and everything? Did you guys like them? Or do you guys have anything similar in um, Pakistan or, or wherever you guys are from? I know a bunch of my mom's friends are from like Switzerland, Sweden, Greece. So let me know if you guys have like um, Pakistani stores like Jimmy Jamshed over there. And do they carry like almost similar stuff? Please do comment below here. My mom picked out a very pretty shoe, and I thought that was very pretty. It was right before me, and I accidentally dropped the shoe, so here I am picking it up because picking, not picking it up would be disrespectful. And then we just have little kids trying on clothes, and then these are like Sharonis for like little juniors. Yeah, I'm just showing you guys like oh these are the shot these are the shalwar kameez for kids. And then yeah, I'm just showing you guys the little clothing for them and they also have a variety so if you go there you know you're at ease you don't have to worry about anything and i'm just showing you guys like a whole rack you know there's there's like a bunch of colors from red to white to purple to blue to per, uh, brown so all of the colors they have every color which i thought was very good because you could wear them at any event and then these are like the little cookies I wanted to get one for Zane, but I thought it would, like, it, it's too hot here, so he wouldn't really wear it. So he ended up wearing just a uh, white shalwar kameez that had, like, little cute detailings on it. And then here my mom is picking out a little shalwar kameez, which I thought was very not cute at all. The color was very, I thought the pink one was cute. Rose gold would look nice on my little brother. But we didn't get it. He doesn't really wear shalwar kameez besides, like, if we're going to a day season or anything like that. And then, here I am taking you guys, so these are like the little festives, like the little more um, fancy types for women. So they have like more detailing, they have more like stitching fabrics, they have like, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys, but they're more like, you guys can see, they're more fancier than um, the ones I showed you before, because I believe those are Vaughn and this is like Chiffon or something like that. So I'm trying to show you guys like, like the little detailing like it's sheer and it's very beautiful but i have i have a green one like that uh, it's like a light fist eye color and then they have white black red 
and um, my, so these are like all very heavy clothing and then here is my mom bringing in another one which I thought it looked like a I don't know how to describe it it's like just little dots it looks like a quarter or something like that <laughs> honestly it was kind of funny I didn't like it at all I made it put it back so then, here we are, to show, I'm showing you guys more because I couldn't really, it's kind of hard, my mom wasn't with me, she was somewhere else, I don't know, probably looking at some Sherlock and these. So I'm just showing you guys a quick little glimpse of the little more um, extravagant, you know, the more, like, outspoken ones. And then, these are the men's Sherlock and these. so they have, I would say they don't have very, very like, outspoken colors, like, very bright ones. This one was a very beautiful color. And you can't really see it in the camera, but when you look at it in person, it looks very beautiful. It had like this purplish tint. You can kind of see it, but not as much. In person, it looks very beautiful. It had like this very lavendery um, tint to it. And I wanted to get it for my dad, but he doesn't like these type of colors. <laughs> but I thought it would look really nice on him. And then these are more of like the cool, like the blues, grays, white, off white, green. And, yeah, like, they're just, and they also have, um, gotis, I believe that's what they're called. So they have all types of gotis you can pair on your shellac kameez. Now, that is something my dad likes. He likes to wear his gotis on his shellac kameez, like the Prime Minister of Pakistan. If you guys have seen him on Khan, you guys know how he dresses. That's how my dad likes to dress. So that was a very nice color as well. And then they also have men's mojaria. So, I'm just showing, this was, like, a little... That was, that was like for a shot. So here I am. I'm just showing you guys a little overview of Janet Jamshed or J-Daw. I'm just roaming around. Honestly, this is the men's section. And then uh, that's the women's section or uh, what's it called? The teenager section. So they have different sections. They have teenagers. They have kids. They have adults. So this is all of teenagers, uh, women, adults. And then as you go straight ahead, you're going to see that there's kids sections where you guys can get uh, clothes for your little girls or your little boys. So that's the, the, um, the kids section for the girls. And then they have trousers. So that's where the men's clothes are. They have a bunch of shalwar kameez and they have different designs of them. So it's just basically shalwar kameez for the men. They have their own section. They also have like little kotis and they have like um, the mojuria like I've showed before. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, here we have shopping here. I hope you guys had an amazing vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Inshallah, there is a lot more coming up. We're going to be having an Eid vlog soon. So just stay tuned for our next vlog. And I'll see you guys in our next vlog. Allah Hafiz.